Heading into the 2020 season at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is quite an exciting one for fans of the park, and not just because we've all missed visiting, but because there's notable changes happening at the park. The only place to start with is Valhalla. At the end of 2019, it was announced that Valhalla would be closed for reimagining and reopen in 2021, but at the end of 2020, it was announced that the reopening would be delayed. The grand reopening of Valhalla has been marked as 2022 for over a year now, but during the 2021 season, there was rumours of further delays through to 2023. But with new concept art appearing on social media from Blackpool Pleasure Beach and on Visit Blackpool's pages, I think it's safe to say it will be back open at some point in 2022. I don't have any insider information about the reopening date of Valhalla, but at a guess, I'm going to go for some time in the spring. If it's opening time for Easter, I think that would be great for Blackpool Pleasure Beach's guests, but I do think it might be later. One thing I'm reasonably sure about is that Valhalla will not be back open for opening weekend, which is only a few weeks away now. Pleasure Beach have kept the reimagining of Valhalla a closely guarded secret. There's been next to no posts about it on social media, and when anything has been posted, it has mostly been concept art rather than teasers from inside of the ride's building. That's not a criticism, that's just fact, and does make it all the more interesting about what is actually happening with Valhalla. In a recent article from Visit Blackpool, it is stated that Valhalla will take riders on a journey through scenes of fire, snow and freezing mists, which is the clearest sign yet that there is going to be very similar aspects of the new Valhalla compared to how it used to be. As far as big changes go, I will not be disappointed if the water vortex has been permanently removed, or quite simply blocked off from dropping all of its water down into the boats. I don't see there being any big changes in the wetness levels, I think it will still be a super soaker. It's also worth a quick mention that Valhalla will have a new soundtrack for 2022 and onwards. It'll be great to see a statement from Blackpool Pleasure Beach about when Valhalla is scheduled to reopen. There'll be a lot of hype from theme park fans all over the country, but I also think that non-enthusiasts will be delighted to see that it's returning to the lineup at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Moving on from Valhalla, there's a significant change being made to Icon for 2022, and that is the introduction of spinning seats at the rear of one of the trains. Icon will be a completely different experience in spinning seats compared to the usual fixed position of sitting forwards, but I'm not sure how enjoyable that's actually going to be. It truly is a case of reserving judgement up to the point of doing it a few times. In the press release, it was stated that this change to Icon will be available to experience from spring onwards. To give an idea of when this could be, in the marketing for Icon in 2018, it was always stated that it would open from spring. It ended up opening at the end of May 2018, which is pretty much in the middle of spring. So it could be April, May or even June when we first get to experience the spinning seats on Icon. Hopefully in the coming weeks there'll be a hint from Blackpool Pleasure Beach about when the spinning seats will be available. In the meantime, I would think Icon will be open as normal for the WOW weekends with the usual trains without any spinning seats. So as far as new things go for 2022, that pretty much covers it as far as we know so far. The reopening of Valhalla is going to feel like Pleasure Beach have opened a new ride altogether. It does seem like so long since we were all able to go on Valhalla, and I think there's going to be so much hype surrounding it once it does reopen. The new spinning seats on Icon is perhaps a more notable new change, but I think out of these two changes, Valhalla is likely to get more of the hype. As far as changes inside the park go, there's not too much to report on yet, but I do hope we'll be able to cover some of this in one of our pre-season update videos. Finally, it's worth noting that the big one is having its biggest retract since the 90s, with Tazica manufacturing 103 metres of new track. What are you most excited for this season at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and what are your expectations for Valhalla in 2022? Many thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.